I've been involved here since I was about uh, 11 years of age. So I've come up through all the younger sections to youth and then progressed then onto the first team where I've been now for the last 12 years, more or less. It's all community-based. Uh, they put a big emphasis on the youngsters of late, especially, because uh, when I was growing up, there wasn't much many teams here, so you had to go elsewhere or play different age groups. But the last five years, we've noticed there's a big emphasis on bringing the youngsters through, which will stand us good for the next 10 years or so. I've been born bred in Pontelais, brought up in Pontelais uh, RFC, in the bled husband, uh, used to play, captain the Pont uh, Pontelais seniors. And I say my son is following his shoes and my husband now coaches this side as well. So we come through the ranks all, always. <laughs> I think it's the, the family environment, you know, community spirit in the club. Everybody knows everybody. It's fantastic. They do lovely family events. It, it, they include everybody. It's a big community club and that, that's what I like about it. I joined the club in 1948 and um, as a, a junior player then. And since then, I've been a member of the club, which is 68 years. Old. For four years, we were the best club in junior club in West Wales, and we won all the trophies. Where well, we went for 64 games without defeat. I was fortunate to be playing in that uh, in, during that time as well. I suppose last season was a big boost for us. We finished fourth. We weren't expected to do so well. Previous two years, we hadn't really performed as we liked. But then again, we did have a lot of youngsters come up from the youth. So last season, we finished on a high, big win to seal fourth. The highlight with us really is seeing the children come through the juniors, the mini section, and how they've progressed. Uh, we have three boys at present who have represented Wales at under 16s, under 18s, and then only Ospreys Academy under 18s. That's a big thing as they, they come through the ranks of the juniors. We've got um, seven internationals that have come from the club, full internationals. Derwin Jones, Gareth Roberts, the jerseys are behind you. Elvett Jones, who were the international uh, during the war, or after the war. I suppose Yayan Evans is a bomb boy. Der, uh, Derwin Jones, the tall second rower. The boys all stick together. I see we're all from Pony de we're all from the village boys. We're all friends. And that makes a diff, uh, big difference when we play on a Saturday, we're all together. I think they've got a very good chance of knocking on the door in the last four. You know, on a day, Wales can beat anybody. Uh, Alan Wynne Jones, his attitude, he never takes a backward step. Uh, tough guy in the park and he leads by example. I would think Jonathan Davis. I'd probably go for a forward because my son is a forward and he absolutely loves him. Uh, would be either Sam Ogden or to pick. Either one of those two, not fussy. <laughs> oh, definitely Wales win all the way. Definitely going to be a Welsh win. I think Wales can do it, certainly. If they can uh, control the uh, juggernaut pack of England um, and get a fair share of the ball, I think all backs are far better. Cut out the errors and make sure that the techniques are up to scratch. Oh, definitely our hookers throwing in is awful. 